Hi everyone, I'm Carmen Drahl from Chemical and Engineering News Magazine, and today I'm here with Lauren Wolf to flush out the untold details about her blockbuster post about peeing in the ocean. I intend to keep the conversation flowing. So Lauren, I gotta tell you, I didn't believe that your post was even necessary. You're telling me there are people out there who think peeing in the ocean is not okay. Well, Carmen, I wouldn't have believed it either. I assumed that everyone did it and just didn't talk about it. It was kind of like Fight Club. But my husband is one of the people who refuses to pee in the ocean, as I, as I mentioned in my post. And so it became a personal goal of mine to get him to loosen up a little bit and to do it. Um, and he just has refused up until this point, and so I decided to take to science. And you really did take to the science. You have a lot about the volume of pee and whatnot. I, I wanted to ask you, is pee proportional to weight? Say you have a whale that weighs as much as 500 kindergartners. Does a whale pee 500 times the volume? Well, Carmen, I'm not an expert in biology. I, I do believe that pee volume is proportional to size of the animal, at least in terms of mammals. But I'm sure, like most things, there are exceptions to those rules. You know, for instance, a camel, uh, you know, in a dehydrated state can conserve water and doesn't really pee very much to, you know, an extreme level. Die in the swimming pool. Embarrassing or a necessity? Well, dye in the swimming pool, it, it turns out to be an urban legend. Um, there is no such thing as a, a dye that can detect your, if you've peed in a swimming pool. There's, there's this uh, myth that goes that there's this dark blue dye that will you know, swarm around you if you, if you pee in, in the pool. Um, I think this was depicted in, in the gem of a movie by Adam Sandler, Grown Ups. However, uh, it's, it's not true. Uh, I, I read someplace that um, you know, it would be really difficult to design such a dye. You could do it, but it would probably react with a lot of the other chemicals that are in the swimming pool. You also wrote about how urine attracts bacteria because of the tasty proteins and other things they like to munch on. By peeing in the ocean, are you attracting sharks or jellyfish or any other creepier denizens of the deep? I think this is probably a case-by-case -case basis, depending on the animal. But I did read that sharks do detect amino acids in, in your blood, and they, you know, they could theoretically detect them in your urine as well. But at the, again, at the trace levels that you would be peeing them out, you know, a shark two miles away is not going to detect the fact that you've peed. Um, if the shark is close enough to know that you've peed, it would probably be detecting you by sight rather than by your pee. This is why I don't pee near sharks. <laughs> I think that's, that's advisable, yes. <laughs> you see a shark, just if you wet yourself with fear, then it's just going to make things worse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How okay are you with being labeled a urine evangelist, a, a pooba of pee, if you will? I think I'm okay with it. it. It was interesting to see in some of the articles that were written about my original blog post that I was called a self-proclaimed ocean urinator. And I guess that's true. I, as I mentioned earlier, I, I didn't realize that people didn't do it. They just didn't talk about it. But I am now talking about it and saying I do it. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Now that everyone from Gizmodo to Jezebel has run your post, is your husband a convert? Is he okay with peeing in the ocean? If only that were the case. Uh, my husband is a stubborn, stubborn man. And I think my efforts to prove him wrong about something only made it worse. I think he's more resolute than ever to not pee in the ocean. So it's sort of a love me, love the pee relationship in your house. Yeah, I think that uh, he, you know, he's okay with the fact that I do it, you know, he probably doesn't want me to hear me talk about it, but uh, he's not willing to appease me by doing it himself. Well, folks, it doesn't take a whiz to see that Lauren Wolf has done her homework. Thanks, Lauren, for a great interview, and thank you to the viewers for watching.